a big breakfast today. <laughs> ah, this is much more enjoyable thing. And this is um, quite the easiest sign of adrenal fatigue. You can, you can see the melasma thing, um, the hyperpigment, the brown spots. It's because of adrenal fatigue. Why? Regardless of sunlight, okay? Why a people with adrenal fatigue have this kind of problem? Because in your brain, there is a hormone called ACTH. It's released in order to stimulate your adrenal glands to secrete adrenal hormones, okay? If you have low adrenal hormones, your brain or pituitary glands will secrete more and more ACTH. And the side effects of the ACTH thing is to increase melanocyte or melanin or hyperpigmented mm -hmm. or freckled. So if you see more brown spot or dark spot on your face or even your lips, this is a sign too. Even though you, you don't get exposed to the sunlight at all. Okay? And brown spots also occurs in specific parts of your body. For example, the armpit, the palms, the palm areas, the elbows. So you can check it out. Um, and you can stand in the, on a mirror and check it in every part of your body today. Even the dark border of the nails. Okay? You can find if you have kind of aligned, a hyperpigment line at the border of your nail disease, the sign of adrenal fatigue as well. And another issue, very important issue, is the sign of inflammation. Like I said earlier, adrenal glands, the role of adrenal glands are to fight against any kind of inflammation and infection. So if you have this, we call dermatitis or inflammation of your skin without, without knowing cause, okay? This is a sign of adrenal fatigue as well. Or even conjunctivitis, because the soft tissues, the softest tissue of your body is conjunctiva. Or if you, and if you detect kind of a, the more blushes inside your conjunctiva, this is the other side. Or even keloids, okay? Keloids is not only a genetic inheritance, it's about lower adrenal hormones too. Okay. This is the pictures of tongue erosion from chronic food allergy. Okay. If you have low adrenal glands and hormones, you have more tendency to develop food allergies because your immunity will be decreased. Okay. And if you're taking more and more food allergy without realizing that it's bad for you, you, could, you might have this time. Okay. And this is a test that you can do at home kind of a very the quickest and the easiest thing that you can do at home. First of all, when you uh, stand in front of a mirror and you look at your conjunctiva, if you have sleep deprivation, okay, this is more prominent. You have kind of con injected conjunctiva, okay? And the test, we call iris contraction test, if you guys uh, in this room heard about it, you turn off the light and get familiar with it for maybe a minute. And then you shine the light from that row into one eye, okay? And use the other eye to see the reaction of your pupil at the affected eye, okay? The affected eye, the pupil of the affected eye should contract immediately. 
and she'll stay there at least 30 seconds. Okay? If the pupil cannot contract right away, this is a sign. Or contract for just 10 seconds and dilate it, contract and dilate, contract and dilate, this is the early sign too. It should be contract right away. Okay? And you can do it at home. Or you can do it to you can you can do it with uh, your family members or your friends. And this is another test. Okay. Just one pen. Use the back side of your pen and draw a line on your belly area. Okay. At first, it's gonna be white, it's gonna be a white line, right? And after that immediately it should turn red. Because of what? Because adrenal glands control your rhythm, your integrity of your vascular structures. Okay? If you have low adrenal functions, it cannot hold the structure of vessel very well. It's gonna be white. Okay. If your if the lines stay white more than one minute, we call definitely adrenal fatigue. And another hormone of the adrenal glands is the HDA. Uh, I mentioned about the adrenal hormones. Adrenal hormones compose of two essential hormones. First is cortisol. The second is the HDA. Okay. The HDA is, is like more like androgen or male sex hormones because the HDA is a precursor of male sex hormones. Okay. And the HDA, the role of the HDA is to stabilize kind of like the bone density and the muscle density and the collagen production. So if you have low DHEA, you're gonna have wrinkles easily. Okay. You can see more wrinkles, or drying hair, and um, the sexual characteristic, just like armpit hair. Okay. In males, if you find the armpit hairs kind of are you losing in that area, this is another sign of low DHEA. Okay. And um, <coughs> however, this is this is the I don't want you to make it short to to serve your, I don't want to make it more concise. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. And I think, in some degree, you have this kind of symptoms. Mm -hmm. The best way to improve your adrenal function, first, stress. You have to cope with stress every day. But how to fight against your stress, okay? Stress is the most harmful threat to your adrenal glands, okay? And second, sleep quality. If you have better sleep quality, your adrenal gland will be functioning very well. Okay. And thirdly, some natural extract can help you a lot to support your adrenal glands. And fortunately, you live in, in Thailand, there's a lot of herbs, Thai herbs and Thai medicines here. For example, like Thai basil helps a lot with adrenal support and relax stress, okay? You can have a basil tea, high basil tea. You can make it your own very cheap and convenient. You can find it in every single market in, in Thailand. But make sure it's organic, okay? Thai basil and black ginger. Black ginger is quite famous in the world right now, okay? You can find it. Where? where? Um, I think in every supermarket. Mm -hmm. You can have it in the morning, and one time in 2 to 3 p.m. Don't take it after 4 p.m. Otherwise, you're gonna have insomnia. <laughs> okay, because our trick is to support your energy, your, your daily energy. Okay, to increase in the morning and a little bit decline over time and it must be dropped at night to prepare yourself to sleep, okay? And I think that the, the natural way is the best. 
no need of medications, no need of steroid at all. What's the first one you mentioned? Thai basil. Thai basil and? And black ginger. Black ginger and you had said, mentioned three. Three? No, no, just, just two. Thank just you. two. Sure. Uh, if we're having questions, can we wait for the microphone, please, so everybody can hear? The organic um, plants, right? Uh, right now, in, in Thailand, there is kind of an organization that will kind of analyze the plants that grow in, in, in Thailand. It's not as going to be sold, okay? And they will get approval with some company that guarantee that this is an organic product. And you, pers I personally, I find it in Villa Market. You can check it out in Villa Market. Mm -hmm. Organic products there. Villa, Villa Market. Mm -hmm. And Lehman Farm, I'm, I'm not sure, Lehman Farms uh, in Pattaya or not, but, but in Bangkok, in several branches of Lehman Farm, mm -hmm. all organic thing that you can trust. Very good. Is, is this question time now? Or are, are you still? <coughs> are you finished with your lecture? Or yeah, yeah I, I finished already. Oh, okay. I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> Okay, I have a question, uh, sure. Doctor Antoli. Uh, you mentioned that the two major hormones producing adrenal are cortisol and DHEA. Is that correct? Right. Would you like to say something about the role of cortisol in the body? The, the cortisol? Yes, what it does. Uh huh. Cortisol is the indispensable hormones in your body. If you don't have cortisol, you'll be dead. Period. And. Um, in early age, cortisol is responsible for the fight or flight phenomenon. When we are the hunter and gatherer, we use only cortisol. It's very important in that moment. But right now, we neglect them. Okay? Because we sit, we sit on the shed every day, we're working in the office, but we've seen a lot of adrenal fatigue because cortisol is everything. Cortisol controls your brain. Cortisol controls your heart. Cortisol controls your, your vasculature and sex hormone and thyroid hormones. And cortisol produces your energy. If you feel lack of energy because you lack cortisol. That one you have. Sure. Yes, I have two quick questions. Two quick questions. One, thank you very much for your presentation. That one for me, anyway, very informative. My first question is, I had um, artificial lenses put in by Dr. Samchai, uh -huh. and does that flashlight eye test work underneath those artificial lenses situation? Mm -hmm. It still works. The, I can expect the irises to contract and stay contracted. Sure, okay. you can expect even that. that artificial even artificial lens. Right. The second question is, does your hospital offer an adrenal fatigue and, uh, examination and analysis? Sure. And if so, how much? We do have, but, but I don't know, I'm not sure about the price, but we do have adrenal lab tests, okay? And the most advanced lab tests right now, we use saliva tests. Mm -hmm. No need to get the, the blood sample at all. But um, you have to collect four times saliva first in the morning because cortisol or adrenal, adrenal glands are working like rhythm. It must be high in the morning and a little bit low at noon and a little bit increasing and slightly lowering in the evening. So we have to check your 8 a.m. saliva collection, 12 at noon, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. at night. This is the most comprehensive test, very useful, and about the price you can ask Tanya. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? It's my turn now. Oh, yeah. Thank you for a very interesting talk, and uh, this is something that, at least me, has not been thinking about too much. You go on with your life and 
and this is on top of what you have experienced normally. I will just ask you, is there any particular conditions in life that are suppressing this adrenal gland function or any medication that is bad for it? That was one part of the question. The other part of the question is, you mentioned that you could go for organic additives and some natural additives. Are there any synthetic additives that are being used also in order to cure this situation? Mm. Very good questions. First of all, the most dangerous medications that can reduce your adrenal gland production is steroid. Okay. So any kind of steroid, even topical steroid, when you have any eczema or dermatitis and your dermatologist prescribes you steroid cream, this is the cause. Okay. And natural, naturally found steroid is, can affect a lot of your adrenal glands. Arginophosphate, pesticide, okay. very, very bad for your adrenal glands. Yes. Uh. I have, a, I have a question. Um, I've always had, uh, right from when I was very young, pinpoint pupils. They don't react to light. In fact, when I go to a hospital sometimes, the doctor will say, Do you want any drugs? <laughs> but they just don't react to light. Really? Yes. Since, since you were young? From, yeah, from when I was young, yeah. Oh. And do you have any other signs of adrenal fatigue? I don't know. <laughs> it would be a very interesting talk, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. the, other, the other side of the question is you're saying uh, uh, something about uh, salt and sugar. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got other doctors saying, don't have much sugar, don't have much salt. Does that affect your adrenal gland? Sure. Because Salt and sugar are a burden for the more